Welcome back to the Atomic Game Show. This time we're converting names into formulas. It's... Chemistry Talk with Dan is proud to present the Atomic Game Show. Here's your master of ceremonies, Not Dan! Well, welcome back. I am Not Dan. This time we are starting with the names and going to the formulas. So let's check it out. Carbon monoxide. So the fact that we have this prefix mono right here means that this is a covalent compound and all I gotta do is just write the subscripts as I see it. So we got carbon. There's no prefix, which means that it would be mono if there was something. So there's just one. So C. Mono means one. Oxygen. CO. All right, next one. Lithium carbonate. All right, nothing really special about that name. So this is an ionic compound. So lithium is Li. Carbonate is CO3. But we're not done because we got to remember our charges. Lithium is in group one, so it has a charge of plus one. Carbonate is negative two, so in order to balance things out, I need two lithiums. Li2, CO3. All right, next one, copper one nitride. So I have this one right here, which means that copper is a transition metal and has a charge of plus one. So copper, its symbol is Cu nitride, I-D-E, that's short for nitrogen, so that is N. So copper here is a charge of plus one. Nitrogen is in group five, so it has a charge of negative three. So if we have a plus one and a negative three here, I need three coppers in order to balance out the one nitrogen. So this is Cu3N, just like that. All right, next one up here, calcium phosphate. All right, so calcium is Ca, phosphate is PO4. Calcium is in group two, so it has a charge of plus two. Phosphate is one of our polytomics, and it has a charge of negative three. So we have a positive two and a negative three, so how do we balance this out? That's right, I need three calciums to make a positive six, and two phosphates to make a negative six so that they balance out, so that is three calciums. And can I just put a two right here and be done with it? Well, of course not. It's a polytonic ion, so I need to put it in parentheses. So there you go, there is the correct formula. Next one, tricarbon octahydride. So I've got prefixes, that makes it easy. So carbon is C, and there's tri, so that means three. Hydride, that means hydrogen, which is H. Octa is eight. C3, H8, very simple. One last example, iron, three nitrate. So iron is Fe, that three there means that it has a charge of plus three and nitrate, not nitride. Nitrate is the polyatomic ion NO3, which has a charge of negative one. So in order for everything to balance out here, I need three nitrates to balance out this one nitrogen. So Fe, NO3 in parentheses with a three on the outside. And it looks just like that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any further comments, uh, just post them below and I'll get back to you. Remember, I am not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. Side to my